praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, we thank God for the grace and we appreciate him uh, for giving us yet a new day. And uh, we are saying this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, I'm waking us up. Let us wake up, particularly those who are in Africa. Let us wake up and, uh, you know, contend for the destinies of our children. Let us wake up and pray for our children. Let us uh, take charge of the destinies of our children by the grace of God. And the name of the Lord will be glorified upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Now, I would want uh, the church in the world to know that uh, whatever kind of a virus uh, that is being mentioned all over in the world, it is not just an ordinary thing. This is an evil spirit that is humanly invented and that it has come uh, from the pit of hell. It is, it is a demonic spirit that is on a very satanic assignment. Um, from the word go, the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, it, it is, it is a, a, ritmat, a ritmat test uh, for, for the preparation of the workings and uh, you know, uh, of the operations of the Antichrist. So um, that is it. And uh, the Spirit of God said it was going to keep on changing forms. It will keep on changing, uh, you know, changing, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, its shape. Today it's like this. After some time it goes to another form. So that is it. So the church must be very, very alert. Um, and I'm requesting the church, you know, I've been uh, fighting and uh, I know uh, the Bible says the kingdom of uh, of God and you know, suffered violence and the violent taken by force from the days of John the Baptist. So we must arise and contend, we must arise and uh, violent to take up our, um, you know, take up our territories by force. Um, uh, what is happening in the world right now, you know, uh, from yesterday I've written something I've been hearing in the spirit that uh, some people holding some positions of a great influence will feel guilty, you know, will feel guilty because uh, they, they have been uh, working under the influence of some forces, you know, the initially as they were uh, working for some of these international, uh, you know, organizations, they they thought they, they were doing good. But kind of the head of states in Africa, they they thought they were doing good uh, to their countries. But uh, the spirit of God is going to alert them and to caution them and to let them know. Even some people who are working under some of these international bodies, they are going to know that they are going to know uh, that they have been lied to and they have they, they have sold their lives and they are, they are out to sell their people and when it gets to that I was seeing even uh, some some big religious guys you know some some people who are holding some big religious um, positions resigning they are going to resign and uh, you know they are going to resign and the threat is going to be much in their lives but nevertheless God is going to use them to speak out and to expose the evil because what has happened right now it's a lot of evil covered up in a carpet it's a lot of evil and uh, you know i love what the bible says jesus said nothing uh, that is concealed that shall not be exposed anything that is covered up hallelujah and it shall be exposed so we are about to, to hear people speak out we are about to see uh some people resign from some major uh positions because now what does it profit a man if you gain the whole world and you lose your soul so we are going to see even some religious people it is something that has never been uh, seen before some people somebody will just wake up and say, I resign from this position, I resign from this uh, uh, operation, particularly for those uh, 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 religious uh, setups where people are employed by, by, by the church. You know, their people are going to, to resign and they are going to say, no, we, we cannot go this direction anymore. So it is just the operation of the workings of the Holy Spirit because uh, what is happening is something very evil. It's something very evil.
Lord. It is human instigated. It is on a demonic assignment. It is an agenda of the uh, of, of the Antichrist. You know the people uh, uh, working and uh, rebelling towards this. Uh, even the people who invented this virus, they are, they are, they are agents of Antichrist. They are on assignment. So uh, the church must be on a very high alert. We cannot we, we cannot um, allow the Babylonian spirit and uh, the, the spirit of Egypt and uh, you know those evil spirits try to control us. We cannot allow. We shall obey the authorities in the world up to a certain level. But now when it comes to somebody saying that I should not have a night vigil, uh, that one is biblical. I, I, we, we cannot change the word of God to fit into the agendas of men. We cannot do that. Somebody saying that we, we should not, uh, you know, have the fellowship of brethren. Uh, you know, somebody saying, uh, you know, the things that we are supposed to be doing as the children of God that are written in the word of God. We have the other constitution, but the other constitution is, uh, it, it, it cannot be above the word of God. So the church in the world must be on a very high alert in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, I, I still uh, want us to continue from what I felt uh, this week that we contend for those who are in Africa and uh, even other nations you can join up with us. We are contending for the destinies of our children. And uh, we began by reading the word of God yesterday from the book of Psalm 127. Psalm 127. Uh, Psalm 127. I love what the Bible says in that Psalm 127 and verse 3. You know, the Bible says that, beloved uh, children are heritage from the Lord. Uh, the fruit of the oak is every word. Hallelujah. So we, we are not just giving birth. Our parents did not just give birth to us. The Bible is saying, my God of all glory, that we are heritage. Children are, are a heritage from the Lord. Hallelujah. My God of all glory. And the Bible says the fruit of the oak is every word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Father, we give you the glory. Uh, the spirit of, uh, I mean, uh, the, the fruit of the womb is everywhere. And I want us to read, uh, today I want us to read Psalm 128. Psalm 128, I want us to read Psalm 128, even as we come on board to contend for our children. Let us rise up and, uh, you know, take charge of this gate. Hallelujah, of our family. It is another gate. Hallelujah, there are seven gates, so family is one of them. So let us take charge of, I mean, let us read the word of God in the book of Psalm 128. The Bible says, Blessed is a... Uh, uh, everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in, in his ways. Hallelujah. When you eat the rebel of your hands, you shall uh, be happy and it shall be well with you. The righteous, it shall be well with you. Hallelujah. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine. Amen. Uh, in the heart of your house and your children like olive plants. Uh, all allowed you a table like I, I love that portion of the scripture that the children are going to be like olive plants all around your temp or allowed your table behold that behold there that shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord the Lord bless out of Zion uh, bless you out of Zion and uh, may you see the good of Jerusalem all the days of your life yes may you see your children's children Peace be upon Israel. Hallelujah. Now, uh, the, the 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 man who fears the Lord. Now, why I have read that scripture or that portion of the of the of the chapter of Psalm one twenty eight, because um we, we we should also be very careful as parents how we we we, we are living, how we are walking uh in our daily lives, because the, the scriptures are showing us here. Now, this person who fears the Lord, even your wife, even that means even your family, because you, when it, the Bible is touching you wife and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and your children that is your family hallelujah even your family hallelujah will become such a blessing it will become such a treasure in your life even the rebel of your hearts hallelujah shall be blessed by the lord in the name of jesus my god of our glory uh the anointing of god or whatever happens in the kingdom of god it is it flows or it tinkles down from the head hallelujah so if, if a parent is fearing the lord now let me surprise you uh solomon is saying something He's saying, you, you know, you train your children in the ways of the Lord. That means you bring them, up, you bring them up, uh, and that is what that what that is what we are seeing in the in the land of Israel. You know, the the the, the children of Israel when they were given the laws of Moses, they were taught even to write at their doors. My God, the doorpost, Hallelujah! They were taught to write the the, the the word of God, Hallelujah! For their children to read, for them to grow up in the fear and the reference of God, Hallelujah! So we are not going to be ignorant, even as we are taking our 
children back to these schools. I know so many of us are, are depending on the systems that are there in the world. Hallelujah. Even to have our children educated, we also pass through such kind of systems. My God of all glory. Hallelujah. But let, let us continue teaching the word of God. You know, as I release this word, as I'm speaking this morning, I'll be reminded that, um, you know, because of the kind of counsel, godly counsel, Joseph had received from his father, Jacob. Where even when the devil tried to tempt him outside the, the setup of the family, hallelujah, the physical family, Joseph was able to start his ground and to say no. We are seeing the same for people like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego because of the way they had, the kind of a counsel, the kind of an upbringing they, they, they had had, hallelujah, when they were children. So even as they were growing up, they, they knew this far we cannot go, this, this one we cannot do, hallelujah. They knew we cannot worship any other God apart from Jehovah God. Hallelujah. We cannot go that direction. That means they had developed the stamina, the the, 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 the or you can call it the, even the spiritual stamina. They had developed that. They were able to say no to that which was not the counsel of their God or to that to anything that was not leading them to the counsel uh, of their God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, I want us to read the word of God in the book of Psalm 24. I love the first portion of the scripture, Psalm 24, the Bible says, the other, the fullness therein belongs to God. So I want us to look at those scriptures and, um, you know, I, I, want to, I want us to read from verse 9, uh, Psalm 24, verse um, 7 and verse 9. The Bible says, Hallelujah, lift up your hands, all you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in. So we are speaking to the gate of our families this morning and we are declaring, we are commanding that gate, the gate, that gate to be lifted up. We are commanding uh, that gate to be lifted up. We are commanding the hands of that gate to be lifted up. So that um, uh, even the everlasting gate, my God, maybe uh, that is touching the traditions of our forefathers and anything that is uh, humanly inst uh, instigated or instituted, we are commanding the the the, 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 uh, the the head of that gate, hallelujah, of our family to to uh, to lift up its heads, uh, its heads, and uh, you know, hallelujah, and uh, the King of all glory shall come in. Verse nine, the Bible says, "Lift up your hands, all you gates, hallelujah." The gate of our family, we are commanding you to lift up your 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 gates, hallelujah. Lift up your everlasting doors, and the King of all glory shall come in, hallelujah. Who is this King of all glory? Verse ten the Lord of hosts. He is the king of all glory. Hallelujah. Elohim, he is the king of glory. Hallelujah. So this morning I, I want us to, um, to to continue contending for the destinies of our children. And as we do that, we, we are going to uh, be measuring, even as we pray this morning, we are going to be measuring on Judges chapter 11. Judges chapter 11 is a story. I don't have time to read that because I want us to pray. Um, it's a story about a young man you know, he who had been my uh, 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 born by a prostitute. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Jeffy, that, you know, despite whatever, you know, being a mighty man of Vara, uh, his origin, the, the oob that carried him, the oob was of, of a prostitute. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, you know, when the brothers, um, his other brothers, now we can call them the stepbrothers, when they grew up, the, the, they, they knew no, this one is not a part of us, Furi. And, uh, you know, uh, they, they didn't want him to inherit whatever their father had. They didn't want to share with him. And the Bible says they chased him, they chased him away and they said, you cannot be a partaker. You cannot inherit. Hallelujah. But how many people know th that was a physical reaction? But when God now decided to restore the life of, of Jephthah, hallelujah, the devil uh, used the brothers. We are also seeing that in the story of Joseph. But it was all godly uh, Brand, hallelujah. We are seeing a, a, a child. We, that, that's the prayer I want us to make this morning. We are seeing a young man. We are seeing a child. We are seeing somebody who has been removed from the, from the, from the, from the inheritance of his father. Hallelujah. And we are seeing him go away. He did not fight back. He just went away. Joseph did not fight back. He just went away. Hallelujah. But listen to this. But when God's time came, uh, when God's time came, 
thing. God had a, a, a way of fixing things so that Jephthah may be restored back to where he belonged. He may be restored back uh, to his home country. Hallelujah. And it was on a higher level. My God, the God had put something in the life of Jephthah that even if the devil tried to steal his destiny, he was not able to. He ju it had just happened for a short moment. But when the restoration time of God came, when we are reading that in the book of Isaiah 34 and verse 8, God is saying this is a day of my my, 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 my vengeance, hallelujah. Jehovah God is saying it's a season for him to decompensate. Hallelujah. It is a season of decompensate. Decompass for, for Zion. Hallelujah. So we are seeing this is where we are right now. And I, I, I'm talking to the church and I, I, I'm reminding us that the devil has been trying to destroy the destinies of our children. You know, he does not want our children to, to grow up in the ways of the Lord. That is why he, he's not, he, he has now allowed them to go back to school. But they are still not allowed to go to church to a certain level. Hallelujah. My Jehovah, even children below six years, they are going to school. They can gather the daycares, but they are not. They, they have put in their systems in this world that such kind of children should not be in church. You see, the devil has been trying to mess up with the destinies of our children. He has been the, of almost a whole year. He has been stealing and trying to mess up with the destinies of our children. Hallelujah. He does not want them where they, they can grow up or they can be taught the counsel of God. He doesn't want them in church. He doesn't want them in school where de their destinies will be shaped up. He doesn't want. Uh, hallelujah. Now, I want us to contend uh, because uh, as it happened to the life of Jephthah, God is able to restore back. God is going to uh, avenge for our children. God is going to recompensate. Hallelujah. The seasons and the times of our children, as long as we are breathing oxygen, as long as we are here or not, the Lord has brought us into that season, even for the sake of our children, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, uh, and the, the Spirit of God was speaking to me and telling me, um, Hallelujah. Uh, uh, many, all, all, all our children have been born with some godly abilities. And uh, it is a season that God is going to bring these things out. Hallelujah. And, uh, you know, we are in a season of the moves and the operation of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Now, many kids, even though they are uh, being told to go back to school, some of them have already been, uh, some of them have already fallen off. We are hearing about pregnant girls. You know, the devil magnifies some of these reports. We are hearing that. We are hearing, you know, some of this I was in a certain school sometimes back some days back uh, and the head of that school was telling me woman of God we had some 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 young men who were a hey, materials you know they were doing very well but when they came back to school you know uh, they, they they could not even stay here for a week they just sneaked out hallelujah out of school and they went away now because they, they for the for the season they were away they began drinking they they they, they interacted with the bad company and the, the children's destiny my Jehovah God they have been messed up with. Now, um, uh, we may blame parents, we may blame the teachers, we may blame everybody, but I want us to come out of the blame game and uh, by, fight the battle together and know this is something that is instigated from the kingdom of darkness and we contend for the destinies of our children. You may be saying that you as are okay, hallelujah, you have you have them in your house, you as are okay, they have may, they may, maybe they have gone back to school, you as are okay, but let us arise and know it is a warfare for the destinies of our children and fight it together in a prayer of agreement. I love what the Bible says in the book of Matthew 18. Hallelujah. Whatever we shall bide here or not, even in heaven it shall be bowed. Whatever we shall lose here or not, even in heaven it shall be loosed. When we make a prayer of agreement, my God, two of us, my Jehovah Redeemer, whatever we ask of the Lord, it shall be done unto us, King of it shall be done unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I want us to contend, to continue contend in Africa particularly in Africa, for the destinies of our children, in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is such a call in body in the spirit, you can attest with it. Uh, you can attest uh, this and you can agree with us. If there is such a call and a cry in the spirit that we don't just be silent. Let us not be silent. You know, the kingdom we have allowed the kingdom of darkness to report things to us. Uh, uh, we have allowed the kingdom of darkness to continue now. It's kind of the remote controlling our lives. Uh, but the Lord is saying that the, the church should arise uh, with 
with the power and might. The Bible says that our kingdom is not in the word, but our kingdom is in the power. So the Lord is saying to the church, let us arise in the power and let us contend for the destinies more so of our children. Our children are touching our families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, I want us to pray this morning from that understanding uh, that we, uh, we are asking God where uh, the destinies of our children have been uh, have been sold out, you know, that they have been messed up with you by, by whatever trap of the enemy. We are calling them back. Oh God, God was able to do that for Jephida. So we are calling back. We are calling back the destinies of our children back to their inheritance, to their God inheritance that we are declaring this morning. Any child who is supposed to be back to school, any youth who is supposed to be go, uh, to go back to school, to be back in the church, uh, it does not matter what kind of uh, an addiction uh, they may have fallen into. It does not matter whether it is pregnancy. They are going to give birth and God is going to restore them back. We are, we are praying this morning that any spirit of brokenness that, that uh, and, and, and desperation hallelujah that could uh, be sent by the devil to hit the destinies of our young people and our children. Uh, that spirit will not have any place to, uh, to operate in. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Christ. Hallelujah. And as parents this morning we are declaring that my father we are going to walk in your ways. We papa this morning, we purpose from this season of 2021. Uh, we are purposing to live, uh, to live in your fear. We are purposing to walk in your counsel, so that the same impartation is able to be felt. I uh, my God to be witness, even in the lives of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, somebody, wake up and pray. Let us contend, contend for the destinies of our children. Uh, we are saying this is our heritage from the Lord, uh, and it cannot be messed up by any powers of darkness. Uh, my Jehovah, we are interceding this part particular morning on the fifth day of uh, January 2021 uh, we are contending one more time uh, for the destinies of our children in your presence of our father my God we pray for all the children uh, those who are in the villages this morning those who are in the cities this morning of our father those who are in school king of all glory whether in day schools or in boarding schools uh, and whatever capacity king of all glory as, if, as long as there are children born in Africa today my God of all glory in the name of Jesus Christ. We are interceding for our children this morning. Lord, we raise our cry. We are interceding for the destinies of our children. My job at the devil daughter. Oh God, he was he had succeeded by removing and dislocating my job at the life of Jephith from his uh, father, my father, father inheritance. But God little did he know that God of all glory, you have got good plans for each one of us, plans that are of good about Father, to give us a future and an unexpected head, oh Lord. And I pray this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it does not matter what the devil has stolen as far as our children in Africa are concerned. It does not matter what the devil has has, has, has uh, killed. It does not matter what he has destroyed. One thing we know, King of our glory, is that you are a God of many chances. Father, you have many chances in you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we we are calling for our children this morning. My father, we are calling for them. Oh God, forgive us as parents in this continent uh, where we have allowed the media, the internet, and so many other things uh, to give our children the counsel and direction uh, to occupy their minds everlasting father. Oh God of our glory, my job, we purpose this morning that we shall restore your counsel. We shall restore the teaching of your word. Uh, we shall restore Bible study in our homes. Uh, my God, we shall teach our children your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My God of our glory, we are commanding this gate. My job of our family in the name of Jesus. My job of the families in Africa, we are commanding you gate. Lift up your hands this morning. We command you, you gate in the mighty name of Jesus. We are speaking to the everlasting doors. My job of these are traditions of men the traditions of our forefathers. We are commanding you this morning. Hear thee the voice of the Lord. Open up your open up your, your gate. Oh, lift up your hands, you gate, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, so that the King of our glory may enter in our families, may enter in the lives of our children, and cause a difference in their thinking, my Jehovah, and even in their way of doing things every day in this continent, in the name of Jesus. It does not matter, my Jehovah, what the devil 
has been trying to do. My God of our glory, we decree and declare this morning the children in the continent of Africa, my Father, you did it for Jeffy, the King of our glory. They will be restored back to their sanity. They will be restored back to their destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus, arise, O oh God, arise this morning, my Father. Arise, O oh King of our glory. Arise in Africa, Jehovah Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh, Ramahando Robosia, arise in Africa this morning for the sake of our children, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we refuse any agenda of the enemy. My God, our children, this our my Father, they are calling our, our generations. And my Jehovah Redeemer, the Bible is saying that man who is righteous in the book of Psalm, you are saying Jehovah Redeemer, he is also going to see the, the, the descendants of his children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare in this season of chemicals that God have been invented as a business, my Jehovah, with the bodies of men. My Jehovah, that our children are going to be saved. They are going to be secure in your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that we will be saved, oh dear Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will move from the way any compromised leadership, my Jehovah, targeting the destinies of our children in Africa. My God, in the name of Jesus, we are in a season where people, they have become lovers of themselves. They have become lovers of money. My God, as long as they see money, as long as there is a promise of money, and they are holding position of influence, my Jehovah, they can sell out every, their people. They can sell out the destinies of your people. But this morning, Jehovah is a parent in this continent. My Jehovah is people in the continent of Africa. We are refusing with the destinies of our children. Father, we refuse this morning. We cannot be silent anymore. Lord of our glory. Father, if we fight favor before you, rescue the destinies of our children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Ramazika and Olobosia. My God, we are taking charge. We are contending this morning for the destinies of our children of our Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we contend this morning, King of our glory, for the destinies of our children, my Jehovah. Even those who are not yet born, oh dear Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we know we are entering into a season where the devil through his agent, my Jehovah, even those who are in leadership of our nations, we will be influenced to come up with laws and regulations uh, that are invented from the kingdom of darkness uh, that are going to be so oppressive uh, my Jehovah to try and intimidate uh, and to inflict fear because my Jehovah the kingdom of darkness drives in lies and deception uh, but this morning Jehovah Redeemer Oh, we decree and declare, my Father, that Jesus, you have already destroyed this work of the enemy, and you came that we may have life, and you have it in abundance, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We decree this morning, King of our glory, that children in this continent, our Father, oh my God, that we will live, our children will live, if we are supposed to go through the system of education, that we will go through it, so King of our glory, my God. God, we wait you all um, for the sake of our children, my Father. We are removing from any position of leadership, uh, any kind of a man or a woman uh, who has sold their lives to the devil. And my Jehovah, they are now on the way, selling out my Jehovah, the destinies of our children uh, and the destinies of people in Africa, my Jehovah. Such a kind of people, my Father, will remove them from places and positions of influence, uh, create them from our way, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Africa is not in the masses of any man. It is my God that you are mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, once again I remind you, you did not create us as inferior people. You created us as your people, my Jehovah. Lord, we have your image. Oh my God, in Africa you have a remnant of the people who love and fear you, King of all glory. And this morning, Jehovah Redeemer, I pray that you are going to start with our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, take over. 
Take over in the name of Jesus. Take over King of all glory. What kind of agreement that is there? My Jehovah, even as we pray this morning, I am seeing, I'm seeing some kind of agreement. I'm seeing some papers pass, pass, I mean, pass through hands. And I'm seeing some people sign some papers as they agree, you know, with the, with the, with the destinies of our children as they go back to school. I see some agreement. I see some, you know, I can hear some, some phone calls. Some people are agreeing on some things. But we are declaring in the name of Jesus Christ, only that which is allowed of God will be done in the lives of our children and will happen in the lives of our children in the name of Jesus Christ. We reject anything that is not of God, anything that is not the agenda of God concerning our children. We are rejecting it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. God of all grace, we rise up this morning to take charge of our territories. We take charge of the dormitories in our schools. We are taking charge of the paths. We are taking charge of the, uh, of the, of the my Jehovah, the administration blocks. We are taking charge of all the principals, the, the, the headmasters, the head, uh, my job, the head teachers. Uh, we are taking charge of their deputies this morning. We are taking charge of the dispensaries in school of our father. We are taking charge of all the matrons, oh dear Lord. Uh, we are taking charge of the cooks, my Jehovah. We are taking charge of all the dining halls. Uh, we are taking charge of all the libraries. Uh, we are taking charge of all the laboratories of our father. Uh, we are taking charge this morning, dear Lord, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we are taking charge of my job out of all the hostels. Uh, we are taking charge of the classrooms of our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we are taking charge of all the libraries of our Father. Anywhere our children will go for studies. Uh, my God, we are taking charge this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we are taking charge of their buses. Uh, we are taking charge of everything as far as the rights are concerned in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you this morning. We give you all the glory and all the honor. We adore your holy name this morning, Jehovah Lord, as we rededicate our children to you, and as we request you, Father, to have your way with your power and majesty, King of our glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reign, O oh God, my Jehovah, for the sake of our children in this continent. They know, dear Father, O Ramazika and Taramahando Lobosia, they know, King of all glory, take over the children in Africa this morning. My Jehovah, we are going to use every platform available, my Father, to make a prayer of agreement, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying for the young people who have fallen off, my Jehovah. They have become pregnant in the course of the eight months. And as God, they have inter interacted with evil companies, so oh dear Lord, and my Jehovah, they cannot go back to school anymore. But this morning, Jehovah Redeemer, Lord, I remind you, we remind you together with my brethren that you are the God who restored the destiny of Jephthah, my Jehovah. This morning, King of all glory, we are calling for all our children. They are not going to die in hopelessness because they have become pregnant because they have begun drinking or they have entered into my father they are into drugs about father we rescue their destinies this morning we rescue their destinies this morning father do an operation in Africa this morning my Jehovah by the power love your Holy Spirit told your Jehovah my God a time came oh Lord and you said enough is enough and you tasted my time has come Come to restore Jeffy, the oh God of our glory, back to the land of his inheritance. And God, you did it by your mighty heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are praying for the abilities that you have put in each and every child in Africa. We are praying for the utterance, oh dear Lord. My God of our glory, where there is a falling of my Jehovah, where there is a 
casting down my Jehovah Lord in the lives of our children this morning. We are declaring together as a continent uh, there shall be a lifting up today, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, uh, Rimazika Yantara Mamazaya, there shall be a lifting up, oh God, uh, there shall be a lifting up. Uh, we quench the spirit of drunkenness, uh, my God, a strange fire. We are putting it off in the lives of our children uh, in this continent in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are destroying from the loot, uh, my Jehovah, the spirit of immorality. We are cutting our children in this continent from those evil spirits. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, we plant your will in their lives. Uh, we plant your agenda for them. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Father, we take charge this morning. We take charge this morning. We take charge this morning. Holy Spirit of God, we beseech you. Wherever our children are scattered uh, abroad, my Jehovah, this continent of Africa, reach out to them by your power. Holy Spirit of God, reach out and reach out by your power this morning. Oh, Ramazika and Orobosaya, we restore your fear in their lives. We restore the sanity of God to them. We restore the reference of God to them. In the mighty name of Jesus, take over our young generation. My God, in this continent of our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Thank you, everlasting Father. Receive all the glory this morning. The Bible says uh, we do not receive because we do not ask. You are telling your disciples, Jesus, before you are said that uh, you told them even that time they had asked for nothing. <laughs> but you told them whatever they will ask your Father in your name. Uh, he was going to give unto them so that their joy may be full. Uh, Father, this morning we have been silent. Uh, we have been watching this um, and we are hearing reports uh, from the media houses. Uh, but this particular morning, morning we purpose uh, to stand in our position as parents in this continent uh, and God we are decreeing and declaring uh, standing by your word the backup of your word uh, in the book of Job 22 verse 28 uh, the Bible says we shall decree a thing I shall decree a thing uh, and it shall be established above father we are now decreeing my king of our glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ uh, that this gate of our family my Jehovah the gate of our families in this continent of Africa my Jehovah it is lifting its hands my God and the ancient doors are opening up this morning so that the king of our glory may enter in in the mighty name of Jesus this king of our glory is the, the Jehovah the God who is mighty in battle in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Redeemer we are pleading for your mass this morning the Bible says that your mass is you every morning let them be renewed upon every child in this continent by your grace in the name of Jesus Christ thank Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, dear Lord. Father, we worship you this morning. Thank you, everlasting Father. Oh, God of our glory. Oh, Jesus, when you came, every one of us got an access to the holy praise without my father having another one to be in between them. We don't need a mutual man to lead you, redeem of God. My Jehovah, this morning, dear Jehovah, who could be suffering uh, because of the sins of their parents, my Father, God of our glory, because my God's parents are not dedicated to loving you, but God of our glory, I am pleading for your mercy. Look upon my job. Jeffy that was born by a prostitute, uh, but he was not a prostitute in his life. Uh, my God, you had created him with an ability. You are even calling him a man of war, uh, my job, uh, which the mother did not have. My call in the name of Jesus Christ. Look at our children. My call in this continent with the Nile of mercy, everlasting Father. So that God of our glory, you may rescue them according to your purposes for them this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are taking charge of the schools. We are taking charge of the watchmen by the gate. We are taking charge of the class.
classrooms uh, we are taking charge this morning of the atmosphere, the playgrounds. Uh, we are taking charge of all the teachers, oh God. Uh, we are taking charge of the principals and the head of my Jehovah. We are taking charge of their deputies this morning. We are taking charge of the dormitories, Father. We are taking charge of the bedrooms and all the toilets. Uh, we are taking charge of every part of the school. Uh, my Jehovah, where our children will step our oh God, uh, even as they continue with their learning and their lives uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, my God, we decree and declare the generation of our children is blessed of you. You are going to preserve our children, my Jehovah. They are coming back and they are going out as blessed of you. They are sitting down and they are rising up, oh Jehovah Redeemer. It is all guarded by your grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father, we worship you this morning. Lord, we honor you. We glorify you because God of our glory, this is an of reward, my Jehovah, and it shall be such a blessing to the lives of our children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. This is not God and a day that you have come to recompense for, for, for the righteous and for your people. It is going to be also such a blessing, my Jehovah, to the children of this continent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we worship you this morning. We give you the glory, Father. We worship you. We honor you. And we adore you because you are a God. Besides you, Father, there is no any other God. Receive all the glory this morning and receive all the worship. Thank you, Father. We are pleading the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ upon even the vehicles and the transport our children will be using every day. My God, we are speaking the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ upon their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. Our children belong to you because, my Father, they are a blessing or heritage from you. It is a reward from you, Father, because they are the seed of our open. My God, of all glory, we thank you because you have the power that we do not have to protect them and to watch over them in the mighty name of Jesus. The demonic virus will not be able to trace uh, the address of our, of, our, of the schools where our children are. Our children are safe in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the devil meant for evil, my God, it cannot prevail. It cannot stand because God of all glory, your favor is upon our lives in the name of Jesus. We love you, Father. We give you the glory and we exalt your holy name. Thank you, everlasting Father. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, um, uh, there, there, has, there has been, uh, for, the, for the days, uh, children have been out of school. There has been a lot of falling away. And I want us to reach out to children in Africa, any, any country you are coming from, uh, as elderly, let us reach out to. It may not be your child, but the Lord is uh, giving us that boldness and courage. Let us reach out to, to, to children out there when you pass somewhere and you find them. Just show them love, talk to them, counsel them, and let us rescue the destinies of our children, even on the street. But let us rescue the destinies of our children so that uh, uh, we may be able to see the generation of our children children uh, to whatever generation the Lord will allow us as long as we are here on earth in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So don't just be ignorant as we pray. I say that the spiritual will always affect the physical. Let us physically reach out and we are going to see the fruits of our, I mean, God rescue the fruit of our labor, uh, of our hope. Yeah, by, by the river of our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So may the Lord bless you. May, let us continue waging war. Let us continue contending for the destiny of our children, and we are going to see the faithfulness of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So let us align ourselves to the will and the purposes of God, and let us tell our children, when you see this, don't agree. When you see this, don't go that direction. Refuse and uh, you know, say no in the name of Jesus Christ. I remember, it is good to teach children. I remember, you know, uh, you know, having having brought up uh, my children alone, you know, uh, as a mother, you know, playing the both roles. Uh, there are some things I instilled in their lives, and even when they, I took them to a boarding school, particularly when it is in class eight, they are some, they're supposed to be going for prayers in some places. My my son and my daughter said they were left in school just alone. You know, in in her time, my daughter was left alone. She said, "I cannot enter there. I cannot go there. Those people." Don't worship our God, hallelujah, and that is it, hallelujah, and uh, when it came to the turn of my son, my son asked the teacher, can I talk to my mother, and my mother, and my son is calling me, they're supposed to be to go for prayers in a certain o 
water and my son is left alone in school and says I cannot go there now that is it it is good let the, let the children know don't just assume don't allow the internet to teach them hallelujah you know um, many of us parents we have become very busy looking for money but let us let us make that cut off we could be looking for money and losing the destinies of our children let us instill you know the, the, the godly values to our children let us do it ourselves let us not just uh, wait for the teachers to do it let us do it ourselves hallelujah that's why Solomon is saying train your children it is you to train train your children in the ways of the Lord and when they grow up they will not depart from them I have seen I have seen even in my own life when children you know because of the teenage age when they want to go away of the things of God you know the values you instilled in them but let me surprise you at the end of the day they turn to God by themselves they do it by themselves they recall they do it hallelujah because uh, so that's why I'm saying uh, don't fear I have had testimonies not once not twice you know when somebody has even uh, gotten to a, an age of 25 26 years and uh, they, they now had uh, gone out of the ways of the Lord you know the, the foundation their parents gave them but at the end of the day they return by themselves and they become even better than the way they were so let us take charge let us continue taking charge uh, of, of the destinies of our children let us teach them let us train them and let us do what we are supposed to do as the parents in Africa your children are not just the children you have in your house Hallelujah. Even on the streets, anywhere. Let us teach. Anywhere God gives you an opportunity to speak to children, to speak to young people, it is still God values in them. And it is going to be a blessing. We shall shout. We shall say it. We shall do whatever it takes. Hallelujah. So that uh, we, we can uh, uh, rescue by the grace of God. Because God, the Bible says, we, we correbar with God. You know, we are correbarers with Him. So uh, let us do our part. And our Father in heaven is going to do our, His part in the name of Jesus Christ. So, uh, I mean, hallelujah. So, it does. I want to encourage a parent this morning, even if uh, your son or your daughter or your child, you know, has gone out of the track of God, you know, the foundation you gave them, we have testimonies of what God can do, and we, we have also had so many testimonies. Do not get tired. Continue declaring the word of God upon their lives. Hallelujah. Don't confess what you are seeing uh, happen to their lives. Continue declaring the word of God. Continue confessing the word of God. Continue praying for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue prophesying to their destinies. Amen. And you're going at the end of the day, you, you see the fruits because God is, uh, the Bible says that God will always follow up his word to perform it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so uh, this morning, we, we, are, we are grateful that even as our children are going to school, uh, even if they are in school in your country, in, uh, in Africa, God is going to watch over them and the, 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 the Holy Spirit of God is going to hover in those schools and take charge and whatever the devil meant for evil in the destinies of our children in this continent will not come to pass in the name of Jesus. And so we are saying hallelujah uh, our Father who is at in heaven hallowed be your name uh, may your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven um, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts and we, as we forgive uh, our debtors and do not lead us into temptations uh, but deliver us from the evil one for you as is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow as Lord will enable us in his time in Jesus' name.